dangerous. And this one's by whole math. Let's get right into it. I want to share with you guys how I think men are super dangerous for society. I think <laughs> they are going to damage so many of us, including just women in general. I feel like said by a woman that lives in air conditioning, making this video on a phone that was probably invented by a man, manufactured by men, shipped by men and making this video in a house that was probably built by a man. I'm sure she's not gonna have a delusional take at all. Let's just be thankful that God didn't create us equal and men have the monopoly on force because if women had the monopoly on force, I think that men would be put in cages. I don't think that they would be as benevolent as men are to women. They are Wrong, you are dangerous. In fact, you might be the most dangerous thing. Here's why. What she said was men are dangerous and will hurt women. Now, she doesn't mean all men. She means only the men who she believes to have power over her in her country, presumably the United States from her accent. And we know that she's not talking about all men because she would never say something so unkind about, for example, illegal immigrants <laughs> who are not dangerous. She can correct me herself if I got that wrong. Here's a map of travel safety by country. See all these different colors? Green is a top score, although that was in 2013. Here's an updated map. Most dangerous countries for women 2024. Darker is safer. United States, doing pretty good. And typically, the men who live in a country tend to protect the women who live in a country right. from anybody outside the country. That's exactly. how things go. So when she says that men being in power is dangerous, it's not just false, it's, it's anti-true. It's and that's what the delusion of safety has created. I think it's the new dogma has been because a small minority of men are violent. If all men don't behave and think and express their emotions like women, then they're problematic. And that only festers up in a society where it's been safe for so long that you forget the necessity of men to be able to inflict violence, especially because most men use their ability to inflict violence to protect and provide and develop safety for women and children. But when safety is just something that you're used to, you forget about that aspect if the men in your country are neutered because you believe that masculinity is toxic more masculine men are gonna come and show you what toxic masculinity actually is all of this is just a psyop so that women can try to control male behavior because they don't like what men are they think that we are defective women and if we're not like women then we are just defective the opposite of true but she doesn't care about that she doesn't even believe what she's saying. This is just a power game that she's playing. Yeah. It's kind of like when women call each other tens, even though they don't believe it. And they're basically saying, oh, you're so beautiful all the way down there. <laughs> Keep acting like a ten so you're not competition for me. Right. Men tend to seek power through open, direct competition. They just say, this is the power I have, and then they clash. Women, on the other hand, tend to seek power by playing nice on the outside and being self-protective right. through strategies like appearing to be a victim. Mm -hmm. Women will often accuse men of hurting them or being about to hurt them so that everybody uh, dog piles on those men and takes their power away which then becomes her power. Yeah, women are more passive aggressive and they use methods that allow them to operate in the gray area of plausible deniability. So women won't hit you, but they'll tell you your mother never loved you until you hit them and then they'll go, I don't know what happened. He just got angry and hit me. That's why if you're ever dealing with an aggressive woman, you should just laugh at her because what she's trying to do is to take you into an emotional state so that she can get a reaction out of you and they know that any reaction that has any level of aggression, even if it's just being louder, louder, in your voice is going to paint them to be the victim and that's when they can use their card of aggression and get other people to dogpile on you anytime you show any level of aggression even if it's just getting louder towards a woman you will always be seen as the aggressor that's why you just got to laugh at them bro and even though this video is terribly low quality it is also persuasive right. it causes people to agree with her which then leads to a group strategy of women all over the internet agreeing to say that men are bad and dangerous in order to take their power away, despite that they are doing a relatively good job. Persuasion is one of my favorite topics. It's all about using conscious strategies to influence the subconscious. And you can read more about it on Shortform, the sponsor okay, of this Shortform, video. Shortform, get Shortform your money, makes Mal. it easy to learn the basics from classic books or to brush up on books you've already read. 
here's my favorite book on persuasion i use short form to quickly browse through the main gotta points let the ass play boys memory this one's basically the topic of this video short form is great for self-improvement you can learn to manage stress master your ego and turbocharge your brain short form publishes new book guides and articles every week and if you subscribe you get to vote on which ones they do next short form is always adding new features like their ai browser extension that applies its summary style to anything on the internet here it is working on my who is a 10 video it's pretty accurate the first 1,000 subscribers who use my link get a free trial and 20% off an annual subscription. Nice. Subscribe now with the link in the description and learn more about the irrational, emotional nature of human beings. Let's start with this one. I'll go through her video step by step to show why she's the problem. I'm autistic and I am I'm autistic. so tired of men. Wow, let's file that in the no one asked folder. Next to astrological signs and pronouns, there's autism and hating men and who you want me to vote for. What did autism have to do with that? <laughs> TikTok has a, a, a lot of that kind of stuff in it yeah. and not a lot else. So why am I making this video if it's not important? Because these things become important when people pay attention to them. And that's what TikTok is. It's an attention ruiner. I got a lot of mileage out of this one. The way it works is that you see something on your phone and it makes you go rawr because negative emotions make people respond more than positive ones. And then you project the rawr onto whatever thing it is that you think is making you feel right. that way. And then sometimes you take an action, which is how engagement farming works. It's making people mad enough to go, what can I do about this situation? And you either might leave a comment or in her case, make another video that says man bad. And, and this has been something that's been studied, by the way, and it's much more likely for women to have this, but it's like a fictional bias. Basically, you can draw more morality through fictional stories. This is why we show kids fictional stories and they can still take out lessons of morality, even if the story is fiction. Like Animal Farm, something that's obviously about talking animals isn't real, but there, you can draw morality out of it. Basically, the studies have shown that when you, in, when you indulge in too much fiction, it can distort your reality. So this is very real, and consuming too much of this kind of content makes you fearful and it makes you resentful. Of course, at no point does she question whether this fits into the world that she wants to create or whether this is the right thing to do. So what else is in here? I have a message I want to share with you guys. I want to share with you guys how I think men are super super dangerous for society. I think <laughs> oh, they are going to damage so many of us, including just women in general. So I, I put those in feelings and opinions. Men are dangerous and men will hurt women. Now those might sound like objective claims because it is a fact that some men are dangerous and hurt a lot of things all the time. And it's a statistical certainty that some men will at some point in the future hurt some women. But the reason it's not a fact or an objective claim, what you said, is because there's just no details like how many men do we need to worry about? What percentage of the set of men are dangerous? Is it is it different from population to population? Are there different kinds of men that are more or less dangerous that we need to worry about? What about compared to women? What about the damage that women do? Exactly. When you look at statistics in regards to paternity fraud, it's actually alarming. They say that 33% out of the DNA test centers, all the data collected, 33% of the men who went in thinking that the child wasn't theirs were right about the child not being theirs. Now, of course, you got to take that with a grain of salt because those are the men who already had suspicions. But at the end of the day, if you're talking about damage, I mean, you could whoop my ass. If you're saying that a man physically harming a woman is worse than a man raising a child for 16 years and then finding out that it isn't his, you're delusional. Whoop my ass. So yeah, not enough people talk about the chaos and the dangerous things that women do. And oftentimes the things that they do just have no legal punishment whatsoever. You're doing damage right now by spreading bad attitudes on the internet that make women lash out at men and then that hurts men and then that makes them lash out. And you know, what about quantifying it is is the damage that men do going up or down or you didn't really include any of this you just sort of said you know man bad 
got any more feelings? I feel like they are not supportive of women's rights and who we are. Okay, similarly, no evidence for this one. Exactly. She even keeps saying, I feel, which is helpful. I'm just gonna put this here in case she says a fact at some point. She's not even defining what women's rights are or giving examples of supporting who they are. Women have the means. same rights that I men have. I feel like they're taking over our country and it's a men's world right now. Whoa, that's a pretty wacky one. They are taking over our country? Am I a they? Am I invading America right now? That would be so embarrassing. Let's just put a they over there. And then she says that it's a men's world right now. And I gotta say, as long as we're doing feelings, uh, it, it doesn't feel like it is. Right. This went viral recently. I sent 100 applications as a man and a woman. It's much better being a woman. And that's not exactly science, but it is a lot closer than anything you said. So apparently, this guy works in computer science, and he took his CV and changed the name to a female name. And then he applied to jobs with his real name, waited a while, and applied with the female name. Out of 100 applications, his male name got 7 responses, and out of 100 applications, his female name got 45. Damn. That's 650% oh my percent more likely. He, that is a systematic advantage. 650% more likely? Why are we not talking about that as inequality? Nobody's screaming about equality when it comes to the benefits that women get. Why aren't anybody talking about equality when it comes to that? 650% is dramatic. I think that they're systematically putting women into positions of power because women are easier to control through fear. And when people are easy to control through fear, you don't exactly have to be logical. Also believe that women who are fearful and prioritize safety are more likely to become agents of the state and will use a nanny state to be sure, to make sure that everybody's following the rules just like the government wants, whenever that comes again. I think that was reflected during the jab. He even tried looking for working class jobs, and he got almost nine times more responses. And wow. this is more than four years old, and things have gotten worse. So Definitely. since we're doing feelings, you started it, that feels like the last 20 years of my life. And some people might argue that the kind of job you can get is the primary determinant of how much of the world is yours. I checked around and other men feel it too. They feel being very much not in control. About this many in less than a year. <laughs> and these, and these on Instagram. Yeah. This actually took two weeks. So do our feelings matter or just yours? Not that we need feelings when there are national hiring experiments that reveal a two to one preference for women. And here's a diversity study from LinkedIn saying, Saying that women are 16% more likely than men to get hired after applying to a job, 18% if it's a senior role. Doesn't feel like a man's world to me. What else you got? And I do not feel like men should be in control. I feel like the reason why we're in so many issues right now is because men have been in control. So then issues come from men being in control. Okay, so according to you, we'll fit that in here, according to feminism in general, men have been in control since the beginning of time, and they have been oppressive to everyone. And only recently, women have gotten freedom, and everything is going to get better forever. It's not true, it's a lie. Right. Reality is a lot more complicated, but that is what all feminists say all the time. So if men have been in control since caveman times, here's another stupid fantasy about women hunting woolly mammoths from this <laughs> piece of shit. And then we started gradually living in tents, and then castles, and then apartments. And now the world looks like this. Then where did all this stuff come from? It Didn't it happen when men were in control? Have you ever been up the Space Needle? It's pretty cool. It's the opposite of having issues. So and I don't know what these people think that they're going to get out of women in being in control. Like, we haven't had women that were in power. We haven't had queens. We haven't had pharaohs that were female. Like, we've had all of these things already in place, but the issue is men are always going to have to be the enforcers. So men are always going to have to fight the wars. Men are always going to have to build the infrastructure. Men are always going to have to protect the infrastructure. So how could having a female leader make anything really different? What would the world look like if women were in all the leadership roles? Men going to die in the wars? Men still having to do all the hard and dangerous, dirty jobs? 
They just don't even want you to have a say. That's what it comes down to. They don't want men to have a say. They want us to just do slave labor and go die. That's that's essentially what this type of feminist brain wants when they think that women should be in all the positions of power and men should still maintain all the jobs that we already do. What are you even talking about? You've got no facts and you can't even get your feelings straight. We're taking over, but we already took over. <laughs> and it was bad before, but it's bad now, even though it's good now because you're getting freedom but you don't have freedom because it's our world even though you have all the advantages this is all you know crap this is babbling idiocy so why am i talking about it because the fact that it's stupid doesn't mean that it's not popular that did right. better than it should have look at this crap can you imagine over here is a girl celebrating being mean to a guy who's good to her 4.8 million absolute brain rot this is the quality of what most people send me on TikTok. that one looks pretty good i can kind of tell from looking by now so there's a lot of low quality content getting pumped out really fast and a lot of it is persuasive here's win bigly again on short form the basics are that we all think we're enlightened and people who disagree with us just need better facts but in reality we make decisions first more irrationally than we realize and then we rationalize them later. Right. So here are some objective claims for you. I put them in blue for boys. Low quality content is more popular than ever, and feelings are persuasive. They change people's minds. Yep. So that means that content like this, me giving my boyfriend a cruel attitude when he treats me like a princess, look at her go, uses feelings to convince people of horse shit like this and this. Combine that with scrolling through TikTok and your brain just doesn't have time to think about things on a rational level. You're just going feeling swipe, feeling swipe. You're having reflexes and impulses and like it or not, those are programming you. And they are yep. having this effect on the Definitely. world. They see the video, it gives them a feeling, they project it onto the world and they have a reaction. Some of the reactions are to make more videos, which then are seen by more people, causing more feelings, more projections, and more reactions, some of which are videos. And they are full of ass backwards opposite from the truth lies like these. And that's one of the primary ways that women get power. By and you can see that whole fiction brain thing really taking the place when women talk about you're going to marry a guy when he has nothing and he's going to work hard and become successful and then he's going to divorce you. And then you're like, well, overwhelmingly, I think 75% of the time is actually the women that are leaving the marriages and filing for divorce. But because of so much fiction brain, because they've been reading, seeing so many TikToks and looking at so many Tyler, Tyler Perry movies and so many of these Hallmark movies, they think that a rich man is just going to somehow break their heart or their husband who's rich is going to divorce them when that's just usually not the case. In fact, the more wealthy a family is, the less likely they are to get divorced. But yeah, the whole women can do what men can do thing and the whole you're going to marry a guy and he's going to divorce you for a younger woman is for the most part fiction brain that's been pumped out through through, uh, that's been pushed through social media in Hollywood. Making shit up while looking nice on the outside. And that's what is actually dangerous. You are telling harmful lies to convince mass numbers of women and weak and fearful men and other Democrats of the direct opposite of the truth, which might have something to do with this. Among young Americans, age 18 to 29, the men are maintaining a stable political orientation, while the women are getting more liberal, which often looks like this. Man bad is just a part of the democratic platform at this point, right. and that's despite the fact that man obviously not bad. Man doing a pretty good job compared to some places. I do not think men should continue to be in control of anything. I think men being in control of our country and the system is very dangerous for our country and the system moving forward. So I will continue to keep speaking. I will continue to keep sharing messages. Please don't. Please <laughs> stop sharing. And if not for me, then at least do it for the peace and security index. Yeah, you see this type of stuff and then you understand why specifically liberal women are depressed. They're anxious 
and they're fearful. It's because all of the content that they look into, all of the content that they consume says that they are the victim and that there's somebody out to get them. And it's just not true. You're safe. You're fine. I just don't understand how you could ever be happy if you always think that somebody's out to get you. Let me know in the comments below if this video is a WRL and give me the HBO special. That's a help brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.